Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you've already seen the kayak that I use. This boat is new for this year. Um, but there's another new thing that I have, and that is my paddle. So, I am going to tell you about it. So I've always been, been the type of person that would kind of put the paddle last. Like I would spend my money on my kayak, my fishing poles and lures and fish finder and, and things like that. And the paddle has, has always been the last thing on my list. And I've been fishing out of a kayak now for about seven seasons. And for those seasons, I have always used a cheap paddle. I think I paid $50 or so for the paddle. Um, this year, I went out and I did some research. And um, basically, how, how I, the research I did, I, I just Googled uh, best paddle. And one paddle that kept coming up was this Bending Branches paddle. And I mean, there's, there's other paddles that if you put in the best, they're going to come up. But there's, you know, only a handful of them. This was one of them that kept coming up. And the reason I, I chose this particular paddle, well, first, let's, let me start off by saying that um, when I got the paddle at home, because I actually, I ordered this online. And the very first thing that I noticed about this paddle is how incredibly light this paddle is compared to all the other paddles that I've had in the past. It's super, super light. And it's light because this is uh, carbon fiber. This paddle is 260 centimeters. The reasoning for being that size is the type of boat that I am in. Um, this seat does go up in a high position. I can stand up in this in this kayak, and if I'm standing up, I want to make sure my paddle, I can still paddle while I'm standing up. So this 260 centimeter paddle allows me to do that. Um, I was very, very um, used to having these types of, of, of locks, these little clicking locks on all my other paddles. So I stayed with that. You, I could have got this where I had this ferrule type of thing where I could set it to whatever position that I wanted to. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't really didn't, didn't want that. I, I, I didn't feel like I needed that feature. But this, this particular paddle is incredibly light. Matter of fact, I, there's been times when um, I, I, I just had it on my lap and a wind came and actually took it off my lap. So you, this, with this paddle, you definitely want to have a tether on it because it will fall off your lap. It's that light. And the reasoning that I bought this particular paddle, the Bending Branches Angler Ace Paddle, is because of this. Just because this paddle has this tool. I can use this as a tool. I can get um, lures that are stuck on, on things with this. That's what this is. This is like a lure extractor. I can take this and I can put it into a tree limb and pull the tree limb down to grab to get my lure out if I cast into the tree, which is almost every, every single time. <laughs> um, so this is the first time that I actually had a decent paddle and it, it's nice too that it actually has a measuring uh, tape on it some people don't have a, a measuring device I mean I don't think I can use this in a tournament but it's, it's nice to know that it, they, that's something that they threw in there as well or I, one thing I will say about this paddle it does have flex so as I am paddling with it I can feel the shaft of this paddle actually bending and flexing um, is that a good thing is that a bad thing I don't know I maybe I you know what maybe it's a good thing because maybe it's it's taking some of the shock out when I when I paddle the other paddles that I've had like I said they, they were very um, inexpensive, but very, very rigid, and they were actually heavy. They had no flex to them. 
It was, it was like a baseball bat with fins on it. This actually has a little bit of flex. I mean, it doesn't have a, a lot of flex where I feel it's gonna break or anything. And the, the price point for this paddle. So this is, you know, a medium price point paddle. Um, I was looking at the Bending Branches Pro Series, um, which was $100 more than this. I think that was $299, and they go from $299, $399. Um, but the other one, the, the Pro Series, didn't have this tool in it. This paddle cost $199, and it came with this tool. And I got this paddle just because of this tool. The other paddles are um, even even a little bit lighter than this so if you were looking for a paddle that is even lighter than this one then I would get the Bending Branches Pro but where I'm using it for fishing um, I like the idea of, of having not just a paddle but it actually has an extra uh, tool with it so you know I'm not sponsored by Bending Branches I'm not making any money um, by saying I think this is a good paddle or not. This is just my own personal opinion. Um, I, you know, I, th I think that this is a good investment for someone who's been stuck with a, I think this is a good investment for someone who's been stuck with a cheaper paddle. Spend a little bit mo more money on the paddle and you'll be glad you did. So, that's my thoughts of it. Please let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.